Yes, an interesting evening, I guarantee. We let's talk about Norway's national selection. We had the first semifinal, and we have three qualification songs to the finals. And based on the polls on EurovisionWorld.com, the right, the correct three went through to the finals, and that was Ulrike Alessandra, and then the boy band who said the Euronymous song. So let's have a look at. Um, Ulrike Brandstorp's performance and I'd, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna say it one more time before I start press to play I don't hate the song I don't I don't hate the song people think that I do but I feel like she this song is not strong as her voice she's better than the song if I can say it like that anyway let's see Ulrike Ulrike Brandstorp honestly honestly Ooh, I like the intro. Very pretty. Yes, we're gonna have some fog. Oh, pretty dress. She's giving me I didn't mind Stella. I didn't mind Stella vibes. I like the bang and the haircut on her. Very pretty. Where is my drink? The thing is that I want to ask this before I move along. Do people want her to win because she has the best song or do people want her to win because she was winning 2020 20, and then you know the can your vision was cancelled. So is that the reason people want her to win is that because she has won but she didn't go but she's back with a decent song so people wanted to win to represent Norway because she deserves it or is it because she has the best song? You tell me. Anyway, let's keep moving. I like the light effects in the background. And like I said, I like the drums. And I like the fact she adds some Norwegian in there. Very nice. Oh, she has long hair. I thought it was like here. I like this part of the song a lot. Yes, for the wind machine. Yes, for the wind machine. Yes, give me a Conchita verse moments there with the staging, darling. Well, she's not disappointing me with the vocals. The vocals is amazing. I mean, I have to say, I think she did justice to the song with the staging because I think they elevated the song to me a snippet with the staging with the wind effects and lighting dr pretty dress and a light effect and the wind machine and then the other stroke orchestra in the background coming out and uh, making her company. <laughs> but I have to say, now we have three songs selected to Eurovision. We have Albania, Ukraine and Belgium. I, I mean, you know, you have to be, you know, okay, what would this 
be a big competition to that songs. Um, this is a maybe for me right now if this is the winner of Norway, Norway's national selection because if this was the fourth song out, um, I would place then this one in the middle. I don't think this is the best or it's not this, this is not the worst. But as for now, I mean, I, I have to see what we're getting out for Eurovision because I think we will have some more songs for before the finals of Norway's national selection, and then we we'll see how this works. But this is this it is very tricky to react to Ulrike Brandstorp's national selection performance because she is a superstar. But for me, she's better than the song. The song is not as good as her. So I think she did very well with this performance. So yeah, let's see how it turns out and let's see Alessandra.